Welcome back to another video from your boy King Jiffy Coats, and today we're looking at The Warriors. Now, The Warriors is a game based off of the 1969 movie of the same name, The Warriors. It's about a gang from Coney Island, the rough, tough warriors, and they're summoned to the heart of New York, where a gang leader named Cyrus is going to bring all the games in the gangs in the city together because there are only 10,000 cups but there are a hundred thousand of your us and the city will be ours if you can count suckers it's an absolutely remarkable movie if you get a chance go check it out I don't know what it's on, I think it's on Netflix, but an absolute amazing movie. So, back in the day when Rockstar made a game off of the movie, I, of course, having seen the film, even though I wasn't supposed to, figured out a way to get the game through a friend of a friend who had a brother that was older, bought me the game, and I played it on my PlayStation Portable. Now, the PlayStation Portable was never the most advanced piece of hardware, but this game took up the entirety of my playtime. I have so much nostalgia for this game. Rockstar really hit it out of the park. The fact that you do what it's called flash, but it's speed. You're, you're just mething the hell out for health. You spray paint stuff, you hang out with your gang, you go... You, it's even better than the movie. I think the game is the definitive way... To like experience this story because the game you see uh, starts about three months prior to where the movie actually takes place, and it, you slowly build your recognition in um, in in the world. You build your recognition to, uh, to as a gang, and it shows how you even became a, became a gang worth getting invited to this meetup where Cyrus eventually. Uh, meets his fatal end and the story of the Warriors co uh, comes to life. Now, if you're wanting to play this game because it's a remarkable uh, gameplay or a, it stood the test of time, it hasn't. It plays just like every Rockstar game has always played. This, uh, this game, I feel like, um, kind of plays heavy into the... heavier into the hand-to-hand -hand combat, but it doesn't have anything like... No, I'm sleeping dogs or anything that really like grabs you by the balls and pulls you in. You're like, yeah, this is combat. No, it's just kind of a simple romp of a uh, of a gameplay. But the story is fantastic. Now, if you just saw uh, some of the, my the graphical tearing that you're watching here, I played this on a PS5. Now, on every other console I have played this on, my PSP, the PS4, this game runs. Okay, I mean, it's okay, okay as an old game as. I haven't played it on my PS4, but I'm guessing, because you can buy it on the for the PS4, that this game plays better. If it does play like this on the PS4, let me know down in the comments, because that's just unacceptable. The state this game is on, or is on the PS5 is an unacceptable state. The game is constantly having graphical issues, it's stuttering, it crashed on me once, and I... I with the PS4 or PS5 supposedly backwards compatible to the PS4, and you can take your library across, and the fact that it lets you take this game across, but it has so many errors, is really upsetting to me. It's one of those that I, it's one of those moments where I open, I started up a game, and I truly felt like I was ripped off a little bit. Not that the, this game ripped me off because the game's fantastic, but the fact that the PlayStation 5 is supposed to be this hard, top of the line, nipples shooting milk against the walls so hard that it's ripping the paint off, powerful console with its super supreme SSD, and it can't even handle a game that came out on the PS2. It, it's, it's kind of insulting to me. It's, um, it's shameful. It really is. But other than that, it is a great game, and I, I'm willing to put myself through the little bit of graphical issues this game is having on the PS5 just to go through this story again. I mean, it, it's it's just such a great story, even though the gameplay is old. You can see me right here running around because it was so, so sensitive on the running, like, like all old Rockstar games are, where you touch the joystick and you start running and like at like 750 miles an hour down the wrong path, that is a rock star staple from goddamn 2003 that I will never be able to accomplish again. It, it's, 
and like even the little stuff like bashing through fences and stuff and the, just look at the wonder wheel right here the wonder wheel just the goddamn artistic beauty that this game is for an old playstation 2 game i had never seen anything like this and right here right here is like makes it more edgy than every single Grand Theft Auto game. I'm talking to this dude, I'm like, ah, give me some flash right here. Oh, we're gonna get wet and wild. Yo, that's a good, that's a cup of coffee in the morning, yeah. A cup of coffee in the big time, yeah. God, this game fucks so hard. This game is like the definition of fucks. The Warriors just... Warrior, man. God Damn it! I I'm so upset that this is the 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 version like the fact that I have to like pull out different consoles to play this game when it will let me download it on the PS5 is unacceptable. Like I wish I I, I wish Jim Ryan would watch this video and say and he he's sitting there like. I'm Jim Ryan. All I care about is the Xbox, Microsoft, Blizzard deal. And then he watches this video and he's like, oh shit, there's other games. Old games people love too. And he looks over at Xbox and sees the new, or the old CODs, like, blossoming and having their next day in the sun. And he thinks, wow, you know there's this huge library of games that we have access to that we can fucking pull out of the dirt and people will have fun playing them? And yes, if you're wondering, I did put in cheats in this game. Because that is another thing of a days gone, like, mechanic. Back when you would put cheat codes into a game just to, like, have unbreakable bats, have brass knuckles on all the time, have it rain cars. I think that was the thing in Grand Theft Auto. I think there was a thing where you can make it rain cars. It was just, like, this is endless rage. Like, I'm, I'm running through these guys on, like, a coked-out bender through an old, like, saloon. This is the type of shit I miss. This is why I play a lot of old games, is because this shit went hard. The fact that you could put cheat codes in and make the game... And play it any way you wanted. You didn't care about achievements or any other bullshit. It was just about having fun in the game. You see all these achievement hunters. Well, I gotta get the achievements. If I put in one cheat, well, I can't get achievements then. Fuck it. I don't understand why, like, these developers don't put in cheats. And then, like, right here, right here, you'll see more graphical Terry. Right there on the lights. Almost every light you run into has that problem. But I don't know why more developers don't put cheats in their game and then give you an achievement for cheating. Because even if it's an insulting achievement, the fact that it doesn't disable achievements and stuff and you can still enjoy the game at your pace, at, at your will, that's the type of stuff that gaming is about for me. Doing whatever you want with this game and enjoying it any way you possibly can. Because that's what gaming truly is. But maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm just an insane person. But I have to say, like the old Rockstar games of yesteryear had... Or even Rockstar or Grand Theft Auto V. They have something a little different. Cheats and all the fun stuff you could do with the game beyond just the story. And it's games like this that make me love gaming and what made me love gaming. I don't know. But basically, the one I wanted to get across in this video is you should go play The Warriors. It's got a, it's a fun gameplay loop. And thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Catch you later on the next one.